for testing positive for COVID-19. He is in the hospital after being diagnosed with pneumonia and getting a positive result for the virus. Haley Brooks joins us now with the latest on his hospital stay. Haley. Bob Ashley, I spoke with some friends of Rapers who say they thought he was recovering well, so this hospital stay was a surprise. Now, earlier today, Raper did release a statement saying he's responding well to treatment, but that it is a difficult time for his family. Raper says we have all been doing our best to wear a mask, social distance, and be careful like everyone else. This virus is a serious and can attack anyone regardless of age or general health. Now, during the daily COVID debrief, Governor Hutchinson took a no moment to talk about Raper. I first want to express uh, my uh, best wishes to Senator Jason Rapert and his family as uh, he has issued a release indicating that uh, he has been tested positive for COVID-19 and that he has uh, admitted himself to a hospital. So we wish him well for a speedy recovery in this. And I reached out to uh, his uh, family and expressed my uh, regard and best wishes for them. Several people took to social media to send their well wishes, including other state senators like Greg Letting. He tweeted saying, hoping for a full recovery for my colleague, Senator Rapert, as he's fighting both pneumonia and COVID-19. Rapert says he's looking forward to a full recovery. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Haley Brooks. Bob Ashley, back to you.